Hey guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner, and today we're going to be working on the cruiser, trying to get it ready for the primer and base coat. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so like I mentioned, uh, we have pretty much gotten the airplane ready for... Uh, for primer and paint on the outside at least for the base coat to start getting it ready uh, so what we're going to be working on today and most of this is going to be all in time lapse is just basically disassembling everything taking all my antennas back off the airplane uh, taping everything off because uh, I don't want to get any overspray inside the cabin here uh, so we'll get all of that taped off I have uh, some some plastic for uh, car painting I have masking tape, and we're going to get everything all prepped. The other few things that we're going to be working on today is also um, final, final drilling these holes here, so that way they're all ready to go. These are going to be painted off the airplane, and then we're going to wrap the cage in, uh, in paper and masking tape to make sure that the black stays black on there. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, basically just cover the whole thing up there with plastic, uh, the panel up in the front, um, the front skin, I'm, I'm going to paint that probably off the airframe because I think it's going to be a little bit easier. So I'm going to have to pull the firewall and get that panel off. And we're going to go ahead and pull the, electric, the uh, instrument panel out of there too because I don't want to get any paint on any of my instruments in there. So we're going to make sure all of that is, peel, uh, is, is removed from the airframe uh, in preparation for this paint job. Um, <clears throat> Now that we've gotten the tail all closed up back there, we'll be able to get that painted as well. So basically today is going to be all paint prep. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be able to go ahead and get this rolled out into the inflatable paint booth and get it painted. So that's the plan. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get moving on that and uh, see how far we can get. It's going to be an all-day job getting this prep for paint, So uh, especially to do it properly. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video.
All right, guys, so uh, as you can see, we've got the aircraft all scuffed up now, uh, bottom and top and everything in between. Uh, the panels up here are going to be painted as well. Uh, so these are the, um, those are the parts that go where the wing root goes along the bar here. So those are all uh, drilled to their final uh, A4 size rivets um, and scuffed and cleaned and ready to paint. Uh, I did remove the seatbelt harness uh, pieces uh, because uh, they're going to be mounted to the main structure, uh, which is this beam here uh, up inside there. So we're going to have to figure that out later. But um, I went ahead and scuffed them up again, and we're going to get those a good uh, coat of primer and a good coat of the uh, olive drab on those. The bottom uh, access cover is uh, going to be uh, primed and painted as well in the olive drab and of course the front uh, glare shield or front top front upper skin uh, this is also going to be painted in the olive drab uh, and then uh, later on we'll uh, mask off the area for the uh, glare shield uh, which will be the uh, the flat black on top of that um, everything else is uh, pretty much uh, ready for paint we have uh, gone ahead and taped everything off closed it all up so she is now ready for paint uh, we do have the front uh, nose gear support on there uh, bolted but because uh, uh, it does need a coat of paint as well so might as well get it in place the underneath is all scuffed up and uh, prepped as well since the landing gear is staying on I do have to get all this taped off, so I do have some plastic wrap with the uh, the tape, and uh, we'll wrap that around, and then tape it down the legs on both sides. And as you can see, that part in the center is uh, covered up with paper, so we don't get any paint on that. So uh, that's all set, ready to go. Hopefully tomorrow, uh, we'll have uh, an opportunity in the morning to uh, get that uh, paint booth outside and roll this out there and uh, get it painted. All right guys, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is the next day and uh, the winds are cooperating with me this morning. So we're gonna try to get this uh, knocked out fairly uh, in a timely manner before the winds start picking up again. But uh, as you can see, we got the paint booth up in here and uh, I'll be honest with you, pretty impressed, uh, however, I should have splurged and got the one that's slightly bigger. Uh, the tail of the airplane is going to end up hanging out a little bit, and uh, it's going to be right up to the uh, front here. So we're going to have to be really careful uh, with getting some of this paint on and uh, making sure that we don't uh, hit the walls or step over things. So, uh, But yeah, if you guys are going to go with this option, do go for the slightly bigger one. Uh, this one I was trying to be cheap, and uh, when you're building an airplane, it uh, doesn't... Uh, doesn't really work to, uh, to be cheap. So, but other than that, uh, pretty impressed with it. Uh, I should be able to get the airframe in here uh, with just a little bit of the tail hanging out and I can just do that really quick out there. Uh, shouldn't be an issue. Plenty of airflow in here is amazingly enough as it is. Uh, one of the uh, air vents here, as you can see, uh, that's uh, an air intake and it is uh, filtered and you can control how much air goes in there. Uh, then you have the two uh, filters on either side here, uh, which are also charcoal filters uh, to uh, prevent uh, overspray from going outside. Big windows, uh, so you can see outside, and it holds up pretty straight. Uh, I'm not sure, they give you hooks here to hang parts on. I'm, I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, maybe we'll try that. Uh, but main goal is to get the airframe painted, so that's what we're going to do. So. Uh, it's gonna be all time lapse because I don't want to get my camera dirty uh, with the overspray. So uh, it should be right out there, guys. Okay guys, so as you can see, we got the uh, gray primer on, uh, ready for, uh, got that piece also primed. 
that panel I'm gonna to have to wait on. It already fell once and I don't want this to uh, collapse on me. So uh, we got the primer on. We're gonna go ahead and mix up the olive drab and uh, get that prepped and ready to spray. Uh, everything looked like it came on uh, pretty nice. Uh, coated very good. And that PPS system from 3M worked very, very well for inverted uh, spraying. So very happy with that. Coverage was good. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that olive drab mixed. All right, guys, be right back. All right, guys, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to pick up some of this, but, uh, yeah, coverage looks pretty good. Yeah, I do see the little bit of orange peel. Uh, I'm not too concerned about it, to be honest with you. And, of course, uh, hair got in there. Downside to having a beard, guys. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the coverage of this paint. Of course, the winds are starting to blow now, so we're going to have to start getting ready to pull this down uh fairly soon but uh came out pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and start working on uh seeing what i can do to start getting this uh cleaned up All right, guys, so uh, we're going to be ending the video here. Uh, as you can see, we got everything painted uh, on the fuselage. Uh, do still have all the tail feathers uh, to do, but those are going to take a, lot, a little bit less time. Uh, I got to get them prepped still. They're not prepped. Uh, but the little paint booth did a pretty decent job. Um, I mean, it wasn't perfect. I, you know, uh, like I mentioned, the tail hung out, but, you know, paint on. And uh, I like it, so that's all that matters. So uh, next week, what we are going to probably start working on is figuring out how we're going to do the white and the black stripes on here, or if I'm going to do the, those stripes. I haven't decided. Put it down in the uh, comment section below if you think I should put D-Day stripes on here. Um, and uh we'll see we'll see uh we'll see if you guys uh, if you guys vote for it and you guys want to see the d-day stripes on here then we'll go ahead and do d-day stripes on here uh but uh i'm really happy with this paint this paint goes down really nice really smooth it levels itself out really nicely uh very little orange peel if you ask me and it's not extremely flat it's more of a satin which is kind of nice uh, so I'm hoping that the white is also the same way. I know the black is because I've already used the black multiple times, uh, such as on the landing gear, uh, the cage, and uh, and so on. So uh, I'm hoping the black, the white is also a very uh, kind of a satiny look. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't looked at it. So we're going to see. But uh, I'm really happy with this paint. Um, I'll leave the uh, link in the, in the uh, description down below. I bought it on Amazon. It's a... Um, it's actually from uh, Hot Rod. Oh, let me turn this can around here, and I got to clean up here. Uh, so it's um, it's the Hot Rod Flats. I'm not sure. If it's, there we go. It's the Hot Rod Flats uh, urethane. Uh, seems to be pretty decent paint. Goes down nice. And uh, for the primer, I use the two-part epoxy primer from uh, Eastwood. Uh, also goes down nice. Uh, I do um, reduce both of them because I want to keep it, uh, you know, lightweight. Uh, so we do use some reducer in there, uh, especially for the temperatures that we're running out here. Uh, this morning it was in the 60s, uh, eventually went up into the 70s. 
and it's starting to get really warm now. So I'm actually glad that I got all those done today. Uh, we'll be able to start putting that away, get all this cleaned up and uh, we're gonna call it for the day. So this video might actually come out before the Saturday if you guys, uh... but uh, yeah, so we're really happy with this. Okay guys, thought I'd do one more video. I still got paint on my face, but uh, one more uh, just to close the video. I want you guys to see this uh, with better lighting. Um, she looks awesome, guys. Uh, she really does. Um, I'm really, really happy with this paint. Um, came, went on smooth. Uh, do have, you know, like I mentioned earlier, there's probably a couple spots where I got a little bit of orange peel. Uh, maybe a little bit of roughness up on the top. But uh, all in all, uh she's really nice she's uh she's clean and i really love this color um it's gonna look really sharp with the uh d-day stripes on it uh if that's what you guys uh think i should do uh you guys uh put down in the comments down below do you think d-day stripes should be on here if so put them in the comments uh otherwise i was going to go with an l19 color scheme which would be the olive drab um black glare shield uh going out onto the the uh cowl um blacked out um stars and bars i don't know let's see but uh nonetheless i am super happy with the way the cricket is coming out one more shout out to viking aircraft engines uh Alyssa and jan thank you so much for all the help uh i just got notified in uh with facebook through uh Alyssa that my 130 is coming and it's going to be shipped out on tuesday of uh, next week sometime and i am so looking forward to getting that baby on the front of this airplane so that means i have to get this nose wheel done i've been putting this part off uh drilling out those plastic blocks uh for quite some time and uh it's time to get that done so um we're gonna get that completed get that all uh tapped and uh, get the bolts in and um get that finalized so that way i can start working on finishing up the uh, firewall here uh and now with the engine coming and the uh engine mount i'll be able to get the uh the blocks or the uh, steel inserts that go inside the fuselage behind where each point of the mount uh, attaches to. So I'm looking forward to getting that. And uh, it, it, I, I'm just loving, I'm just loving how she's coming out, guys. What do you think? Uh, if you like it, great. If you don't, it's my airplane. So uh, keep building, keep flying, guys.